We have learned about pattern and design. We have learned the difference between a warm color and a cool color. Now it is time to prepare our painted, watercolor painted papers to cut them into strips so that we can weave them. So the first thing we're going to do is we are going to fold our paper, each one of these, in half. So quick review. I'm going to take the top of the paper, I'm going to fold it down, I'm matching up the bottom two sides and the corner. I'm going to hold my paper in the middle and then I'm going to press down really hard with my other hand and slide over. Press down really hard and slide over. That one is done. Now I need to do this one. Take the top, fold it down, match your two, your two bottom edges and your corners. Hold your paper in the middle and slide up and over and up and over. Once you have these two done, we are going to do the next step. So on this piece of paper, I'm going to find the middle and I am going to draw a line straight down. Then I'm going to find this middle between these two edges. So is this the middle? No. Is this the middle? Yes. So I'm going to draw a line in the middle from here down. Find my middle over here and I'm going to draw my line, find the middle, draw a line from here down. I want you to notice that I have four equal sections right here. We are going to divide each one of these one more time. So let's start with this one. We're going to start over here. I'm going to find the middle between the edge of the paper and this line here and I'm going to draw a line coming down. Find the middle between these two lines and draw a line down the middle. Find the middle between these two lines and draw a line down the middle and find the middle between these two lines and draw down. I'm going to do the same thing to my other piece of paper. So again, I'm finding the middle. I'm drawing straight down, finding the middle, drawing straight down, finding the middle, drawing straight down, finding the middle, drawing straight down. Find the middle between these two. What's the middle? Notice I have equal sections. One doesn't look really fat, one doesn't look super skinny. I'm always finding the middle between the two lines and I'm drawing another line in the middle. So let's count the lines. How many lines should we actually have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So this is what you should have on both your papers. When you get to this point, stop. We'll make sure everybody is ready to go on to the next step.